Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video I want to talk to you about a new indicator that we've developed called the multi-channel indicator. And you'll soon see how handy this particular indicator can be. This indicator has been developed for channel traders and let's have a closer look at it. Previously the main indicator used for channel trading was the channel surfer. Now on your screen you can see six charts loaded with a channel surfer and there's a reason why there's six charts and the reason is that you cannot load the channel surfer multiple times on one chart. So what we've done is we've designed a channel surfer type of indicator that can be loaded multiple times on one chart and you'll see the advantage of that. But let's have a look at what we're using at the moment. I'm using six charts because I want to see multiple views of different channels in different time frames on the particular charts and you can see the example of that on the screen. Now I'm going to just open a single chart with most of the channels that you can see on the on the single screens loaded onto one chart. Now this chart might look a little bit busy but after you've used it for a couple of minutes you'll get quite used to it. And here is a chart with multiple versions of the multi-channel indicator loaded onto it. As you can see in the table there are five versions of the chart of channels loaded onto it and and you can tell the sizes of the channels looking at how many bars they are looking back into history with. Also shown is the size of each channel and the slope of that particular channel. So the way you look at these charts is you look at the smaller one first. Here is the the, the red channel for instance is a small one less reliable the, the, sh the smaller the channel the less reliable it is the bigger the channel the more reliable it is so we've got the red channel and what's nice you can set the sizes of the particular channel so I've got this one set on a quite a light channel the next important channel is the light blue one and you can see it here it's bounced there it's bounced there and it's bounced there and it's bouncing to number four down at the bottom here. Slightly bigger bigger line, that's the way I've set it up. And then the next one is the turquoise channel, which I've set up here, which shows the bounces there and it's on its way to its bounce at the top there. And then the last two channels, which are almost the same, um, again looking at longer periods of 160 bars back and 100, 360 bars back. So what this allows you to do is to see multiple channels at the same time on one chart. Now why that is important is that you want to firstly see a conflicting channels. You also want to see channels that support each other. So if they are bouncing in the same direction, that's a, a great way of, of seeing support for channel trading. You also want to make sure that you don't miss any channels. By looking at only one channel on a chart, you might not see the impact of the other channel. So this is quite handy. Now I'm the chart we're looking at here is an hour chart. You can even change the time frame on the chart to give you different perspectives. So if you don't want to look at the hourly, you can look at, at the 30 minute chart, you can look at the 15 minute chart, you can look at the four hour chart and every time you'll see a different perspective of channels. So it makes the review of charts a lot faster if you can firstly see many channels on one time frame and also look at lots of time frames at the same time. Now if you're not a, an experienced channel trader it might take a while to get your eye tuned in to see channels but the idea of this is to really see n channels that you like and that you want to trade. It'll make it a lot easier to see these type of, of channels. So how did I set this chart up and I'm going to show you how I did that I'm, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to use a blank chart. So I'm going to open a new chart for the Aussie Yen. There's my new chart and I'm going to show you how I set that particular chart up. And to do that I'm going to, what, what I need to do is I'll go to indicators and I've loaded the multi-channel indicator into this one. So all I do is I drag it on there and it will say how many bars do you want to go back 
and we're looking at 12 bars back for the first one so i go 12 bar and I, and the channel width is one so i load that onto the chart and there we have that first one loaded and there it is so i'm going to just position it the chart away from the left hand edge and the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of the grid so there we are. So that is a lot clearer. So there's our first channel loaded. So in order to load the second one, you do this, you just drag the indicator on again. The second one is going to be a light blue one. Click light blue. It's going to be based on 36 bars back. And we're going to give it a weighting of two. So on it, in it goes. And there's our second channel loaded onto the screen so i just do that with the now the settings that i use are some settings that i've developed you can use your own settings or you can use my settings doesn't really matter so again i go for 60 there uh, the color for this one will be a bright green like there or lime and i'm going to go for a color of a uh, width of three which makes it a more important one and in it goes and there there our light green channel is so we go for the next channel and uh, by do and all i do there is i drag that on again this one is going to be a magenta type of color this is going to be a dark pink or a magenta and this will be a width of four and let's have a look it will be 160 bars back so on that one goes and there that one is so and then the last one's a really long-term one and i'm going to drag that one on too it's a, a, a gold and it's a width of five and it goes all the way back to 360 and as i say you can actually put your own numbers in your to suit your particular views of channels and there we are so there we have our multiple that's the exa almost exactly what you saw earlier uh, when i showed you the channel and there you have it so uh, that's how you load the multiple channel now as i say it is so nice you can then flip time frames and view different channels and the idea here is to look at the channels and select channels that really make sense to you that you want to trade and the, you've got a bigger chance of doing that by using these multiple channel views again us uh, you need a bit of experience with this but within a couple of minutes literally within a couple of minutes your eyes get used to looking at the sensitive channels and the longer term channels and getting a view of what's happening with the price action so where do you find the multi-channel indicator it will be in the channel trading forum here's the address of the forum and you can see we've already loaded the free channel surfer quite a long time ago there's been a number of downloads of that one and i've literally just loaded the free multi-channel indicator on right now and already we're getting quite a number of views coming through there so that's where you find it use this link uh, if you are not registered for the forum just register for, for the forum and you'll be able to download the indicator if you are not registered there might be a restriction on you downloading that this particular indicator but please use it let give me some feedback on how you're enjoying it if there are any changes to be made we'll will make those changes so if you've liked this video please give it a good like on youtube if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you are subscribed remember to click the bell so they get notified of videos like this where free indicators and trading ideas are presented in video form so from me alex employee cheerio